Hi everyone, and this is a macho guys question for today's Jimmy Wire business Sony Low list and let's enjoy it. Decent break off. And he's up against uh, a player who's still on the tour and quite capable of still. Well, he did push a red towards the corner pocket. And a bit of a nervy one there and Tony's got his first chance now. One. Tony knows one. Now that was interesting, John. Jimmy got down to take the pot on and then all of a sudden got up and decided to play the safety. Mm, he's pushed a red over the corner. I don't think he's covered it, but it's an awkward one for Jimmy. I thought he might be able to get over for the black. Now, how's he finished on the yellow? Keeping things tight. Can we wait? Hey. It's just right where he wants to hit the cushion there. See how close he had to get to that. And and that's skidding off, so he needed to oh, go the goodness. other side with a little Give me height for. His left one, long straight red. The last place he wanted the cue Six. ball to finish up. A bit unlucky there. Yeah, that's the problem. Those type of shots, if you take too much pace. Oh, cracker! Point. Cracker! you believe it? There he knows one. It's, it's a bit of a free shot, but more difficult. Well, Jimmy knew straight away. And Tony's got a free shot now. He's done the same as Jimmy. Put it on the near jaw of the pocket. Is this red over the middle or is it going to come down far enough? It has done. The thing is with the shot like that. Oh. Trying to develop these reds. Oh, but it's gone wrong. He's not on the black. The brown and the blue. <coughs> yeah, to pot the black. Yeah, that was what it was. I thought he said brown, he must have said black.
absolutely right, Dennis. Mm, and that's a cracker, so it just shows you. It's amazing how low Jimmy queues up. You, oh. Oh. Jimmy Hyde, 50. They definitely haven't settled. No. Watch. Never quite seen anything like this before. Well, fair play, is it? And look where he's got the white. That deserves a round of applause, that. Oh, anyway, back to a bit of normality. Nice shot from Jimmy, getting the snooker on all reds. Yeah, a bit like Mark Williams' break-off shot, risk-free. Yeah. <clears throat> It was, yeah, so <laughs> it was so exciting. So <laughs> exciting. I did think about doing a Quinton Ham from behind and smashing them all oh, over the table. Them everywhere. Do you remember what he used to do? Reds to miss if he's going back to Bork. And the blue, of course. Yeah, that was always the problem for me. I couldn't see a path back. Right, Jimmy. You've had a few opportunities, and this is. No. It was just wide, exactly Can like he was what? with the red. What? Yeah, nice pop from Tony, and of course, no problem with position with the black. I thought he would have played that with a little bit of screw there, that was it. So no position, no attempt at a pot, just the safety. And just six points in it. That was a cracker, that was excellent. Okay, the kiss on the yellow has made it even better. Well, would you believe it? Where's the cue ball gone? No, oh, well, he got into the cue ball too much. He was hoping to get the cover with the black, but he hasn't, I don't think. So these four remaining reds with colours will get into snookers required. Now that'll make him feel yeah. a lot better. That deserves a round of applause. Great shot there. <laughs> Worth taking this on. He could get on the brown. Free shot this. He won't be far away. Well. Wow. Didn't even get it in the jaws that time. DDK then. I'm not certain whether Jimmy thought he might just get a nudge off the red. I know nowadays we talk about Sean Murphy, Kyron Wilson, but so hey. just rolling that red in. He's on the black. Yeah, gone full-blooded for it. Every credit there. Because he had to pot the black. Seventy. Twenty. Twenty-four. Give me right, twenty-four. 37 points behind with only 18 remaining. Forlorn hope. Oh. And particularly now he's missed the blue completely. Oh. 
so that's it and uh, a scrappy game but just signs that Jimmy White is starting to get in the groove he leads 1-0 okay. I mean, Ronnie delighted to have you here as a rocket ambassador and uh, a nice trip down memory lane Tony Knowles and Jimmy White two legendary characters going toe to toe yeah no it's good to, good to be you know it's good to come and watch the lads playing and you know being at the Crucible is fantastic you know so yes yeah, it's, it's uh, I got home and I was I was bored I thought I've got to get away again are, are they the types of players you used to watch growing up yeah of course Knowles he, he was uh, he was the, the man wasn't he you know um, and Jimmy obviously and JP, John Parrott, uh, Darren Morgan, they're just all great players, you know, um, brilliant, brilliant for our sport, you know, so yeah, it's just good to be here and you know, obviously not playing, which is great, so I can just enjoy it and relax and enjoy it. You know? yeah. Do you think we might tempt you into the seniors at some stage down the line? If at some point I'm allowed to play in it while I'm a professional, I, I mean, if I could play it now, I would, you know, it's just nice to be playing, you know, and yeah, I mean, uh, it'd be great, you know, I'd love to, love to be able to participate in this tournament. So, yeah, it's, it's got stronger and stronger every year and Jason's done a great job, you know, and um, all, all, the, all the players love it, you know, whereas before it was, you know, um, just playing in, you know, some snooker club, wherever it was, but now, you know, can't get, can't get much better than the Crucible. Are you just up for the night or are you staying for the whole weekend? Uh, I'm going to stay till Sunday. I've got a little bit of running to do. I kind of got hooked on the... The fell running, running up mountains, so I thought while I'm down here doing a little bit of work, you know, um, might as well catch a bit of running and, you know, we've had the shop down here for, you know, while the World Championships was going on, so we've kind of extended that for another month, so yeah, going to get a bit involved in that and, um, yeah, so yeah, a few, few bits and pieces to do while I'm here. The shop seems to have really captured people's imagination. It's been a good move. I think it's been good, you know, because, uh, you know, some people like, you know, they want a T-shirt, they want a mug or whatever it is. You know, there's so many, it's been so good because, you know, uh, the amount of people that have wanted different things. So, yeah, we're, we're looking to, for every tour uh, to do it, you know, we we'll probably have a shop at York, um, at the Masters, Ali Pali, you know, obviously Germany, Austria and China are, are obvious places to do it. But, you know, um, hopefully, yeah, we're we'll, we'll, we'll having it at all, all events. So, yeah, it's just it's just good for the fans and people that when they come and watch snooker to be able to buy some presents and gifts for you know, people that wasn't able to make the event. Great stuff. Good to have you here. Cheers, Ronnie. Cheers, Rob. Cheers. Oh, Jimmy breaks off. Ronnie's going to be doing a bit of fail running around Sheffield. Should we join him in the morning, JV? It's only playing the safety. A little bit too thin. That's why the cue balls run in and out of bulk. up to bulk just got to avoid the blue with these type of shots no problem played that with a tremendous amount of side the natural angle would have taken him into the pack Might just have a shot to nothing here. Well, his best safety shot of the match so far. No, couldn't get through to it. Those shots on these very fine cloths are so difficult. And this looks pretty good. Watch the little trace aside there. He played that to perfection. Second choice, this red. Thanks. I just... Well, decided against it. Surprises me because this is the last of the loose reds and 
Thank you. And now it's much more difficult, but he can still get into the pack. Frame right up. Now here it comes. It looks good to me. Do you know he's unlucky? Yep, that one's just available. And that looks pretty good. Thank you, sir. But look at the pink. Trace aside, you can miss this pot. Well played. Pot three. Probably playing for a red in the same pocket. Oh, he's got a choice of reds. Good chance this, Dennis. A lot of those reds are covering each other into the right corner. Look how low Jimmy strikes. But then when he delivers the cue, he doesn't. But he looks to be settling down now. That's back in prime position. It's just the right of it. Well, he managed to avoid that. And because he did, he had complete control of the cue ball. Another nice shot to get on the pink. Well, the defending champion really has settled down now. This is a great effort. Sixty. Sixty-seven. Played it nicely. Just missed the yellow, and I think. Play for a flute, Jim. Play for a flute. It's in. In the middle pocket. Oh! I didn't see it. Did you feel? Now, Tony. One. Anyway, it makes a difference. As I was saying, he needed four snookers, and that four points. 60 points behind, 51 remaining. No. Mm, this cue ball needs to bounce. Could go in the middle pocket here. Well, and he did. Sorry, nine. Jimmy Hoyt, seven. Okay. Three, you can see Jimmy Hoyt. And in fact, Tony concedes the frame, so Jimmy White with that fine break, a frame winning break, it has to be said. Tony knows who breaks off. Just about missed the blue. But you always get a bit of world senior snooker. I mean, he did well to spot that from his seat. Well, I looked at it three times and still couldn't spot it. Oh, this cue ball's close. It's very close. Oh, and that's a nice bump if it misses the yellow. Well, he may have left the red to the uh, right corner here, but it looks pretty straight. Did well. Caught that safety a little bit too. Th
Harvardy dead. This is excellent. If he misses the brown, it's superb. If he misses the brown, it's superb. What a good safety. And eventually saw him over the line and winning his fourth title. Well, he caught that wrong. Where's the cue ball going? Yeah, just going back to what you were talking about, John. Uh, the world number one and the player that has won five ranking events, Judd Trump. Good pots. Played the cannon on the black. Just caught the red just before it. If he could have just caught the red a little bit thinner, he'd have developed the black. Playing a little safety. But he could have played that better. He's left yeah, a he shot on here for Jimmy. To the right corner. He's playing with a lot of side though. And he avoided the reds, but when you're playing with that amount of side, it makes the pot so much more difficult. Last few safety shots of Jimmy, he's just been under hitting them. But he's played it very well indeed. caught the blue and it's made the frame very awkward the pink's awkward the black's awkward the blue's now awkward he has pot now how's your look tony this time Not quite. Yeah, no, sir. Stroked it in nicely. Needs to slow right. up for him to get to the blue, being left handed. Oh, it's just run too far. It was easier to get up the table from the yellow rather than the green, but still very difficult here. Up the cushion there, yeah. So it's developing into a, a decent chance here. It's always going to be difficult. And look where he's got the cue ball. Oh, can you believe it? That's pretty good. <laughs> Every yeah. credit. Well done, Tony. Very nice, mate. Yep, very good pot. Leave a pat to these reds for easy safety. And not for the first time in this frame. Excellent. This is a half chance for Tony, but he's done both Twice. very good. Yeah. Can't 
and stay on the black. No. Fourteen. And a chance to can on the blue. That's pretty good. Yeah, I could not have played it better. That's not going to be easy, as you can see. This is probably the easiest of the three. 22. But just signs. Dennis, he's starting to cue a bit better. We've got plenty of action on it. Good effort there. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Never yeah, easy though, me. particularly using the rest. What? Well, he's just lost the cue ball a little bit, and if he's straight on the black. Just bring the blue into play. Different way, leaving the white up here. Eight. That's just as good as long as the red stops. Well, decided to go for it. Red's going, ooh, I thought it was going close to the right middle pocket there. <coughs> Not quite certain what Jimmy can do with this now. This hole is a gap. I caught it much too thick. Oh, how's your luck, Tony? Oh, wow. that's a lovely cannon on the black. And if he can reach this with his left hand, he can play the snooker. Yeah, absolutely. But playing it at this pace, if he doesn't get it, well, he's okay as it turns out. And that was my thoughts entirely. Just play it at a nice pace so if you didn't get... I think your shot was the shot all day long. Uh, Johnny would have got the snooker and sent the red up towards the yellow. Could have done without the kiss on the uh, the pink, but he's nicely on the black. Oh, he doesn't want to be snookering himself on the brown. Is he just okay? Eight. I'm not sure. Turn it over. Well, that was a golden opportunity. He's let go there. Safety exchanges in this frame. Well, that will do very nicely. Have to get it safe. That's why he's played it with lots of pace. And he'll settle for this.
always was a very good tactical player. Came down, of course, when you're not used to the the, com the competition, you sometimes forget. You think you're in the practice room, <coughs> but uh, I think that's about the third time that Jimmy has given him the stare. Well, I look at the position, and he had a pot of the yellow. Oh, what a shot that was! <laughs> Missed the frame ball, Green, and he's left it. He's left it, but the big. Well, he's not. He's playing the top spin, and this is far from easy. Can we wait, Sam? Well, it could have been worse. Mm, close. Oh, Where's that cue ball going? Yeah, Where's the job. cue ball going? Well, that was a misjudgment. And right in the heart of the pocket. Now this pink looks pretty easy, but well, you couldn't have played this any better. Absolutely inch perfect, and the black for the match. And then it goes. So it's Jimmy White, defending champion, who goes through. There was a few twists and turns, a little bit of controversy, maybe. But Jimmy will be delighted. Tony Knowles played some great safety but didn't score enough when he got in. And Jimmy White, defending champion, through to the quarter-final. He wins by three frames to nil. Am I needed, Robert? I think you're going to hear. Jimmy, yep. quick two minutes, if we may. Just here. Into the quarters, the title defence is still on. Yeah, it was um, a bit of a struggle there, but... Uh, I think it's the excitement gets to us old boys, you know, when we come to the Crucible and sometimes it's hard to settle down, but I was pleased to get a long blue in the end and finish it off. Yeah, classy way to avoid having to, to play any uh, additional frames and it, it did seem as though you were both a little bit nervy in the first. Yeah, we both missed a few balls and, you know, um, I've known Tony for so many years, he's such a great player and uh, if he would have got going a little bit in the first frame when I missed so many, you know, maybe it'd be a different story, but pleased to get through. And now you turn your attention to the quarter-finals. Darren Morgan played really well in the first round, a rerun of an epic semi-final, and I think you had a last 16 clash back in the day here as well. Uh, I think I beat him in my two years ago when I won it. So, uh, you know, listen, Darren Morgan, we've played in many matches over the last 25 years or so, you know, he's a great player, and uh, I'm just pleased to get through that one and I'll just focus on my own game. Well done, Jimmy. We'll see you tomorrow in the quarterfinals. The defending, thanks, Jimmy. The defending champion is through. So there is just one place left in tomorrow's quarterfinals. Will it go to a Scouser or a Brazilian? Here's what John Parrott and Igor Figueiredo had to say at the launch. Well, Jimmy White is still the last frame from Sonny Norris and Yes, I think Jimmy Y he still play in the the main ranking even so he have more he can he more stable form and he he play very well today in my opinion and is senior tournament. Yeah, this same uh, Miss Scott is a senior, so many players have high edges. Of course, he cannot play in his in that top form, but let's enjoy it when we have Gandhi, Jimmy White, and Stephen Hendry, also the John Perrot. So. Next match, Igor Fredo versus John Parrot. Let's wait to that match.
that much thank you so much for watching and see you guys later bye bye